Hi there, welcome to Tasty Treats TV. Today I'm going to be making a five ingredient basic sandwich bread. We have flour, salt, honey, yeast, coconut oil, and my water. You can use sugar or honey and in place of coconut oil, you could do vegetable oil. Let's get started. I believe it's important to proof your yeast before throwing in the dry ingredients. Proofing yeast allows you to determine whether you've got a bad packet of yeast or a good one. Um, as you can see, I have here three and a half teaspoons of dry instant yeast, one cup of warm water, and two tablespoons of honey. I mix them up and it's pretty warm in the house um, at the moment because it's kind of chilly outside so the heater's on. Um, normally I will cover this up, um, turn my oven on, turn it off, let it cool down slightly and then place the the yeast mixture into the oven to proof but um it is actually foamy and the way you can tell that your yeast is good is when it bubbles or it foams so the yeast is ready i am going to add my um dry ingredients which is my three and a half cups of flour and salt Here's my flour mixture, three and a half cups of flour, and I'm using um, one teaspoon of salt, but you can use any amount of salt to taste. You can reduce it or increase it. I typically use bread flour for all my bread recipes, but I ran out, so I'm using all-purpose um, flour. So I have the three and a half cups of flour in here. Next, I'm going to add my um, two tablespoons of um, coconut oil, melted. I may or may not need additional flour. Um, the way you can tell is, as you mix this, if the dough is extremely sticky, then you may need to add a little bit more flour. But if the dough pulls away from the mixing bowl and it's solid, then you're good. So I'm going to mix this for three minutes. Okay, it's getting better, but I still need a little bit more um, flour. And I honestly can't tell you why this happens. Um, there are times when the... Um, the exact measurement works out and there are times when you may need to add maybe a little bit more water or a little bit more flour. Some people believe it's probably due to the temperature, the humidity. Um, there could be so many um, reasons why when you start off um, um, with a recipe of um, three and a half cups of flour, you end up you know, using maybe four or four and a half. But um, it's important to make sure that if you're going over the number of cups you're supposed to be using, that you, that you do it gradually. You don't want to add too much flour. So I did add an additional half tablespoon of flour. I'm going to mix it for three more minutes. The dough finally pulled away from the bowl. Um, so in all, I used four cups of flour um, instead of three and a half cups of flour. Um, now I'm going to cover it with parchment paper and let it double in size. As I mentioned earlier, I normally would place this in my warm oven, but the house is pretty, um, toasty <laughs> it's nice and warm so i'm just gonna cover it up and let it sit here and double in size the dough has doubled in size 
Now I'm going to punch it down to release all the air. Okay, so here we have it. I am just going to roll it down a little bit. As you can tell, there's still a little bit air in there. So trying to get out all the air, the bubbles. I'm making one big loaf sandwich loaf okay so The dough is not cooperating. Okay, make sure to grease your loaf pan very well because you don't want the bread to stick when it's done baking. Here we are. And I love scoring my bread. I don't know what it is about scoring, but it just makes me feel happy. <laughs> so I'm just going to make one and let it rise for about 30 minutes and then I will bake it. Would you look at that? It rose beautifully. So I have set the oven temperature to 350 degrees. And um, while the um, oven is warming up, I am preparing a water bath. I have water boiling. I'm going to pour it into a Pyrex that I'm going to set on the lower level of the um, uh, lower level of the oven. Um, reason for that is I want the bread to be slightly crunchy and um, stiff enough to get a straight cut. Um, you know, there's several types of breads. You have the soft type, you have the chewy type, you have the hard, you have the crunchy, and then the in-between. Um, for a sandwich bread, you just want it to be just right. You don't want it too soft because when you're slicing, it kind of like collapses on you. Um, so with the water bath, it makes it, you know, just, you know, perfect for you to slice. So here's the water bath. Voila, basic sandwich bread. So I will recommend that you let the bread cool down before you slice it. But for the purpose of the video, I want you to see um, how this turned out. There you have it. Sandwich bread.